Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're gonna review the Self Balance TDS and EC meter. Um, TDS, total dissolvable solids in your water. Um, now this is different than the pH uh, test I did earlier. Um, what we're gonna use this one for, or what we're gonna use this one to test, is uh, bottled water and tap water, and we'll. Uh, now this does not have a light up screen. Um, TC, BPM. All right, so let's go ahead and try. Um, I spilled the water. Um, Seems pretty high for a bottle of water. Let's go to the tap water. Holy cow. That is uh, actually kind of tricky. Yeah, that's a really high number. I think, um, I mean, let's see. It's at 77. So that would be. Carbon filtration. Oh, my eyesight's are bad, guys. Yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, we can definitely see there is a big difference between uh, that and let's try this tap water again. Or the bottled water again, I'm sorry. I am really bad at water, guys. Um, now, I'm not sure we're even supposed to try it with our coffee. But, uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens. Wow. Now that's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty high. So, alright guys, so, you know, between this and a pH balance, you can really learn a lot about, uh, your water. Um, your pole water, your drinking water, your bottled water, um. If you feed your plants, you know, um, if they need a certain pH balance and uh, you you do concern or you are concerned about the total dissolved solids in your water and you should be because there shouldn't be a whole bunch in there. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, I will leave all the relevant information down below and uh, yeah, check out the other video on the pH balance tester. It's a cool thing. Um, a little bit later here, I'm going to test some pH balance strips, which are uh, pretty handy because you don't need to do anything except use a strip. So, uh, anyway, guys, uh, yeah, enjoy.